Hello. Uh, so just like the seasons in Minnesota, having their plus and minuses, so does Panama. Uh, right now, Panama is having its summer. The winds have picked up and there is less humidity in the air. However, most of you who are living in Panama also know that it's Pika Pika season as well. Uh, so what is Pika Pika? It is a vine that has white lavender or purplish flowers with brown seed pods that's an annual climbing shrub. It can grow to be over 50 feet in length. When the plant is young, it is almost completely covered with fuzzy hairs, but when older, it is almost completely free of hairs. The official name is Mucuna purirens. <laughs> I don't know if I said that, pronounce that right. It also has many other names such as Hellfire Bean, Velvet Bean, Devil Bean, Mad Bean, Cow Itch, Nipa, and more. It is native to Africa and tropical Asia, but also found in Panama and many other Central American countries. In Panama, it is well known as Pika Pika, uh, which comes from the verb picar, which means to itch. So pika, so pika pika translates to itch itch, or lots of itching. Uh, the itching is caused by a protein known as mucunin, mucunin. But while the hairs contain the chemicals, the cause that cause the itching, the seeds are medicinal. They contain L-dopamine, which is used to treat Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease. And it is also used as a herbal supplement to lower stress, improve focus and mood, reduce anxiety and boost libido. And it's also known to treat snake and scorpion bites. It's not only direct touching of the pods that causes the itching, but when the wind blows, the fine hairs catch the wind and make contact with surfaces that are exposed, that we are exposed to, uh, such as outdoor cushions, bed sheets, pillowcases, if windows are left open, and car seats. The itching may last only a couple of minutes, but when the site is scratched, the invisible hairs are spread and driven deeper into the skin, resulting in a longer lasting itch. Washing with soap and water may help. Now I did a lot of, I did quite a bit of research on this, on how to get rid of it. And all I could come up with was washing with soap and water and actually getting rid of the, the plant itself, which is cutting it by the roots and making sure that you don't leave it there because it will re-root itself. Um, so yeah, just getting rid of the plant itself. Um, even though the dry season, so even though the dry season has more wind and less humidity. The downside is dry and pika pika.